So we were watching Nardwall. You know who Nardwall is? No. Okay. He he does these interviews on YouTube, mm-hmm. and he's he is incredible. Uh, we're gonna check him out sometime in the future. But uh, he had Seth Rogen on, and uh, he was talking to Seth Rogen, and he gave him a record for a. Uh, I miss Seth Rogen. Yeah, me too. It was nice. It was nice seeing him on that. He's but, been dead for how many years? Like two decades. It's like super bad. Yeah, it's official. <laughs> um, yeah, where has he, made, he gone, dude? He he made a bunch of like fart joke movies, and then Sausage with, Party with, was pretty good with Judd Apatow. Yeah, but look at the. T- I said, the, I the, said the Sausage tone. Party was pretty good, and producer Crystal goes, well. "Listen to the tone in your voice. <laughs> Sausage Party was pretty good." You know what? You I don't, you don't go like I'm taking it, it was to the grave. So okay? funny. Forty year old virgin, he was amazing. You know? Tombstone, Adam. Uh, Sausage party was pretty good. The <laughs> stuff that he was good at can't be made anymore because of, you know, it's a lot of uh un PC stuff. But I think that's why it's the perfect time to make it. Yeah. I don't think he's that guy. Catch everybody he, by surprise. He wants to be something else now. Mm, okay. Good yeah. on him. Um, That's what I, th- I think, anyway. I don't know. But the record he gave him was for a song that was used in a paint commercial. Hang on. And uh, and it was really surprising to Seth Rogen that he would know that Nardwall knew that about him, that he loved the song because uh, he says it was just too soulful for a commercial. <laughs> Do you do that a lot? <laughs> yes. <laughs> It's like the entire interview. <laughs> I'd smoke weed a little bit, yeah. And John Glare coming down. They they make it easy to remember who's on the song. It's pretty good. Pretty good. I think you're on it tonight. Um, but here's that song from the actual commercial. He said it was hard to track down, and uh, now it's available. So uh, let's let's take a look. See if the song goes too hard. For a paint company. Like it's an incredible song. I mm, get what he's mm, saying. Mm, there's mm. there's no reason this level of quality needs to be on a paint can commercial. It reminds me of a I'm trying to think of the do 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 do. What's that song? I'll get it. It, it reminded me of one of the TV show, like f- one of the TV show intros. I can't remember which one off the top of my head. But yeah, remind me of. Yeah, I think we talked about Full House, Full House? being How, similar. How's that one go again? Definitely a grand dessert. Yeah. Some people say it's, it's even, even harder to find. Yeah, but there must be. Yeah, that's that's the one. <laughs> Inside each. <laughs> <laughs> but all I see. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> Is you what? and me. More people paint and protect more things with Is that just a commercial jingle? It's just the jingle for the commercial. Yeah. For yeah. paint. It's like uh like an oldies yeah. song or something like that. Look at the love in that Goodbye. dog's eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Look for specially formulated. Here's like we're listening to some Otis Redding or something like exactly, that. Exactly, dude. Imagine that you showed up for work and, and the, the guy who's making the song is there for your, your paint company. Mm. They're like, okay, we're going to go ahead and uh, record the song on whatever you got. Maybe you have a, a, a guitar, I don't know. And then the guy just brings that Yeah. <laughs> to a paint company. Yeah. He's like, uh, like Jesse, Uncle Jesse. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> you know? Oh, Jesse and the Rippers? Uncle Jesse from Full House. Yeah. Who would just who made a career of making jingles. Oh, that was his job, right? Yeah. Best. How much Full House did you watch? <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> oh. uh, I didn't do a lot of homework as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> that show, you know what? That show was wonderful, right? TGI Friday. You had uh, that. I think you had step by step, yeah. and uh, what was the one with Urkel? Family Matters. 
Definitely a grand dessert. Family matters. Boy yeah. meets world. Stefan Urkel. Yeah, dude. My coworker was just asking me the other day, right? <laughs> he goes, "Hey, what was that guy's? What was the name of the alter ego?" Yeah, and I was like, "Stefan, he was cool, man. He was the coolest. Yeah, he was cool. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I loved, I loved Urkel because he was like the nerdy dude mm-hmm. who was doing all the right things." Just for love. He's simping now. He's simping for oh, yeah. Laura. Yeah, he simped level 100. Yeah, <clears throat> which just misguided is, you know. Didn't he Didn't he get with her? Yeah, but I'm just saying that nothing wrong with simping for the one you, you're after. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying there was something wrong but with that. But you just go, man, it's the simping that is turning her off, man. Well, there's a little bit more. Are you trying to give some life advice to Urkel? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) You're trying trying to dad talk Urkel? Yeah, he's being a little bit of a tryhard. All right, go ahead. Give give Urkel some some advice. I don't need to, to Urkel. You did it. Okay. You you learned from your lessons, and then you did it. You showed me, really. You showed us all. Yeah, because persistence is key, and you showed it there. That completely contradicts all of the things I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Uh.